Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. So, it is late at night, and I am going to be doing an unboxing stream. So, I know that the lighting is absolutely shite. Mostly due to the fact that I only have a backlight, and that's it. So, oh well. So you can see that I actually set up my, um my camera so it's the center and I'm doing this because I'm gonna be unboxing the special edition on uh, on um, stream so I figured I should have a big screen for it so I hope that's understandable and it doesn't annoy anyone because it's not the best camera but it'll allow you to see uh, down here so, I'm actually going to yeah, I'm gonna try and set up this. So let's move that. Let's move the keyboard, and it's really tiny wire. Not tiny, but whatever. And this is my mic, and this is my switch. And luckily I have an Elgato HD 60S, so it has instant game view. Don't even have to worry about syncing it. So, let's get to the fun part. And in the background, you know what I should do? Instead of putting on a general cold steel SP, Fire Emblem, Three Houses, OST. Let's, uh... God, there's already a final boss. God damn, final boss OSTs already. That's crazy. There. Here, I'll just put on Fodlin Winds. God, that's crazy. People have already gotten to the final boss and have the OST. Insane. Okay. First and foremost, came in this big box. And I pre-ordered this from GameStop. So, first and foremost, I have the Fire Emblem Three Houses pins. Let's just put these right there. Yeah. So we got one for the uh, Black Eagles, uh, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. So, I personally like the Black Eagles, hence why I'm going to be picking that house. I also just like Edelgard's design more. And now, let's get to the meat of this thing, and why it came in such a big box. Here we have the special edition. So, for reference, this is my forearm. Like, like this is my tummy. Like right there. Or better yet, this is my head. Just, yeah. That's my head. I'm actually gonna bring this up a little bit because if I'm standing, you just want to show it like this. Then there we go. So let's take it out of its wrapper. So on the front, you can see Round um, Three Houses, Season Warfare Edition, and then on the side, you got that. Got that. The bottom is just that. But then the back has like this nice picture of the uh, the sanctuary, I believe, or the monastery. So that's really cool looking. So now, um, yep, I got my tiny little tiny little box cutter knife. Yeah, just, yeah. So you can just see how big it is. It's just my finger versus. It's not a very large knife, but it's more of a letter opener than anything. Excuse me, it's a little bit warm in my room. So, some of you probably already know what comes in the Seasons of War edition, but this is for those of you who don't. So, I'm going... The 
inside of the box is empty now. Uh, excuse me while I just do one thing. have the steel box for this game and it's really good looking so you can see right on the edge only my camera is better you can see it says fire emblem three houses and on the front it's this nice picture of i believe the goddess as she is seen instead of like super anime with like some priestesses in the back and the bottom and then on the back is the same picture but broken so that's pretty cool now we can open up the steel box and we get the same picture as the one at the back of the big box big box which I probably will be saving because it's really nice and where did Switch. Gotta move that. And here we have the cartridge. And the cartridge has the same picture as the box on it. So, I'm gonna put this in my Switch. The reason for that being, I imagine there will be some kind of update. Day one update. Not exactly sure, but I'm gonna check. Yes, okay, there. Well, I'm downloading, but it should be really quick. Because honestly, Nintendo is pretty good about day one updates and not having them, <laughs> or having them be really short and small. But yeah, this is a really nice steel box. I only have, I think, one other steel box, and that's Persona 5. So. Now we have this, which I'm pretty sure is the OSCD. So let's just take a look, see at this. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This is it. So you got the front opens up to like a really cool like sundial looking thing and then all the music Just. I haven't listened to a CD in years but I do have a CD drive on my computer with which I might actually listen to these okay here we have another thing emblazoned with uh, this emblem and this one is the 2020 calendar and it even has like a kick up stand with Nintendo on the back so you can have it like this and it's like oh look at that I can just flip it over and on the back you can see stuff like that, which is like old-timey art, but like foldling -y. So we have a female Byleth. We, oh, and each, and each back has its own thing, so that's pretty cool. We have Edelgard. We have, uh, I think it's like Rhea or something like that. Interesting how the first guy to show up is like none of the main ones. Interesting. They chose an odd choice of people for this. Well, actually, I'm not sure where I stopped showing. Oh, yeah. Use my left hand. I think I've skipped one, but that doesn't matter all that much. Oh, God, it is, it is hard to do this. Get up. And this guy. This guy, 
this girdle. This girdle. Eventually I'll know these characters and probably learn to love them. Okay, come on. Get off my head. There we go. It's interesting that they put the three, like, heirs so far apart from each other. I wonder if it has to do with they put the characters in like their associated year of, or in their associated month of birth. I'm just gonna put this right back here as a keepsake. I'm not gonna use this calendar. Just straight up, it's not happening. <laughs> and then finally, we have the big money item. Fire Emblem Three Houses art book. Where the back is that. So let's pop this bad boy open. Now, I don't know if you know anything, but you should not be cutting towards yourself. So I'm going to move my hand out of the way and just slowly go across the top. Fire Emblem. Three houses. And it's like, it's a hardcover book. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this book itself wouldn't go for like 30 or 40 bucks alone. But, yeah. So it's just like, Whole bunch of the art, characters and their heights, a bunch of concept art. Honestly, pretty interesting. But I don't want to flip too far into it and spoil myself on anything. But it has like pages for all the other girls and people. But yeah. So. to drop any frames. Oh well. Okay. So, with that, yeah, so over to my side I have my laptop monitoring the stream. But unfortunately sometimes it like blacks out because it just doesn't like me. So, with that, the unboxing section of the stream it's finished. And I will say that I am content with the extra money I spent. Um, I think, yeah, the special edition, Seasons of Warfare, um, this is just a GameStop pre-order that you would have gotten with a normal edition. Um, the special edition was $100. So I would say it's like a $50 or $60 game plus the CD, which you could probably get for like five, ten bucks. Then the hardcover concept art book. That's, that one, that's probably the added value, most of it. Not to say that the steel book also isn't really nice. But, now that we're past that, I'm just doing that to test out the, uh, audio. Let's go in. Okay. Um, what I'm actually going to do is on my right screen, I'm going to have a more bright thing open. Um, I need, I need light mode. Okay, the audio is, I think, a little bit low. Um, 
but I don't know if I can like oh yeah I'll turn off dark theme and immediately get brighter and just to make sure you're gonna hear double for a second so I figured I'd just let this play through. So this is interesting because I'm pretty sure they've never shown like the complete one, the complete game one. Because this is different than, I think, the ones that we've previously seen. Ooh. I like how the sword is like Ivy's sword from Soul Calibur. <laughs> put um, my Twitch over stream thing, or my Twitch, like, video, um, extras, Nintendo eShop. <laughs> so, the uh, software now open, so you can view downloadable content. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, let's go for it. Um, and the other file on my Switch isn't me. <laughs> it's one of my friends. God damn it. Uh, frickin' expansion pass? No, I'm, uh, I'm good. I'm good for now. Extras. What extras do we have? Voiceover language, and you can just delete all save data. <laughs> Changing voice or? Nah. I'm gonna keep it in English, because I think I like it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Short version. Interesting. These two are like the same. Okay. So, yeah, right now I just have like the Twitch thing, and it's in not dark theme. <laughs> that way there's actual light coming from it <laughs> to uh, allow. So, I honestly think my game audio is really low. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump up that right there put it at like negative nine decibels and then go that on mute right there and put it at like negative nine decibels and then go that on mute right okay so i went to the home menu to turn essentially turn off the game audio so i could check to see what it was in the stream and it's all good calmer ah yes now you get the classes those of common birth you must compensate for a lack of noble privilege with tenacity. Um, okay, let's just play the game. Normal for beginner and intermediate players. Hard for experienced. You know, I just want to go normal on my first run, th run through. Just learn the game. So now this is the real choice. Fallen units rise again after the battle ends, or fallen units are lost forever. Every decision counts. So because there's a time travel mechanic like a rewind time mechanic. I'm just gonna pick classic. Connect to network and play online. Sure, I'll do that. Um, here's currently undergoing maintenance. Okay. That's fine. You can connect to network by setting up connection. Yeah. Oh, and like, look, at the bottom it has like a tiny little like old style bilith uh, sprite. Ooh. They got 
bucket heads. This is so cool. for that space. Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! <laughs> die! Die! You took everything that I loved! Damn. And I'm pretty sure that's the voice of Majorita from the Sky of Five. <laughs> crazy whatsoever but damn that was that was really cool that's a good opening I think I can easily say that hello there I like your braids oh my what could have brought you here and that's Morgana from Persona 5. Man, the fifth iteration in all these games. Oh, I wonder how you got in here. Oh, see, nice. They tell me how. They tell me the log. Perfect. And I can redo the thing. And I can also auto advance. And that's really nice, too. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Okay. I'm liking this. This is really cool. <laughs> so. I kind of like both of these designs. But because I am going to be picking the Black Eagles. And that has Edelgard. My decision is that. My character will try and romance. All the main characters. So. For. Edelgard, I'm going to be a guy, but when I do Dimitri and Claude, I'm going to be a female Byleth. So, let's pick male Byleth. But I'm hmm, curious as to where they came I with the name Byleth. I've seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I'm a ghost. I'm a demon. I'm a mortal. <laughs> I am a mortal. Uh, you know what? I'm a... Ooh, see, I'm curious, because, like, what if these actually matter? It's like, oh, I'm a demon. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Oh, shut up. I'm a ghost? <laughs> do not deceive. You would uh -huh. do well to keep your wit in line. Well, I'm mortal. I see. 
Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it as Byleth, because I think that's a fine name. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with uh, Massive Dick Man, <laughs> 69. Huh, has to I have shall not 69. ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. Oh yeah. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Guardian Moon, Pegasus Moon, Lone Moon, Great Tree Moon, Harpstring Moon, Garland Moon, Blue Sea Moon, Verdant Rain Moon, <laughs> Horsebow Moon, Wyvern Moon, Red Wolf Moon, Ethereal Moon. I like Wyvern Moon. Oh wait, no, not day one. Let's go with the last day of Wyvern Moon. 10, 31, we're Halloween man. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Okay, I imagine that that is baked in commentary and not I just happened to pick it. Hmm. It all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for water. Yet another nap. Voice acting? Good so far. <laughs> of all, I think, three characters we've heard talk. Hey, time to wake up. Rhyme Village? Oh, God damn it! I was still. Freaking Empire Territory or something? I was still trying to read it. Were you having that dream again? Yeah. Hey, Gerald. I was dreaming about a war. I was dreaming about a young girl. I like the war part better. <laughs> Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. So how old is that bitch? In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Nah, no, it's fine. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. I understand. Yeah. Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Where's that symbol? Okay, so I'm guessing. Gerald, sir, your sorry choices to barge make in, people, but your presence is needed. Uh, have better opinion. What's you, happened? Which makes sense, because of course I knew that. I just didn't think I could get with Gerald. Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? I was not expecting them right here, right now. We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm, considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. I'm very ready. I'm so ready that I forgot to put on Twitter that I'm... G going live with Fire Emblem. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to come over here. Um, shit. Control C. Come on. Uh, home. Boop. Come and join over on Fish Buddy Bison. Playing, play, not cap lock, playing, hashtag fire 
emblem, three hashes, and unboxed the special edition. Uh, will show again later. Boop. Tweet. There we go. Okay. Figure I should get that out there. Just to, you know, because I feel like that's right. Okay, you're gonna have five save datas. Holy shit. And then, oh, Byleth. Wa walking around at the bottom. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Sounds good. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Okay. Move. Sucking move and then move. Oh, you guys next one on me. Command window. Yes. plus and minus, and the minus makes you farther away, and the plus puts you closer. Holy shit. Options. Combat animations, assist animations, battle speed, action skip, smart end, automatic cursor, grid. That's a, it's a bit much. Invitation of size. So let's bring her up. Bring X. Uh, you'll do 16, possibly. So. Yeah, combat. Yes. Hit rate is reduced as range increases. Highly effective against flyers. Ready and willing. That's. What's your combat art? Curved shot. Attack up, hit way up, and it has a bigger range, but it uses three weapons. That's neat. Okay, let's have you do this. <laughs> oh. You can even see your like weapon skill points go up. Yep, durability. You can fight with a broken weapon, which is new, but your might and hit rate will be reduced. Okay. Interesting. So, stay focused. Let's come up here and let's see what your combat are. Smash, minus five, big crit, big attack, big hit. Let's go for this. I plan to turn Edelgard into a brigand. So that's gonna be fun. Battle menu. To use the battle menu, create bookmark saves. View tutorial guides. It's a bookmark. Uh, to access, press A when the cursor is spaced. Phases. Yeah. Let's save your pro. Okay, so that's just the save. Let's talk to Edelgard. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary. So show me what you can do. Yeah. I'll cut through. Mm, up. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Sounds good. Oh, and I can't even move a uh, big horse guy. <laughs> we'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Sounds good. So, terrain effects. 
a uh, certain train will have effects on the units, like force make you hard to hit and give you defense. So and you can also put yourself in like tiny castles, like towers probably. So I think it's pretty smart to have it so like, okay, you don't have to show the grid, but it shows the grid when you're picking your character and where to move. Yes. Good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Yes. Terrain types. Uh, forest not the only terrain. Keep an eye out for others, such as thickets and heal tiles. You can see the effects of terrain by placing your cursor. Press the X button on an empty space to toggle terrain information and unit icons. So, X. Interesting. Oh, and if I hit X on a person, it gives me all their information. Nice. ZR combat battalion level. Interesting. And if I hit X, I can go over here. Give me that information. XP gain and battle. Movement. HP. Noble. Nice. Resilience. Protection. Attack speed. There's at least four more than the enemies. Nice. And we have abilities. Multiplies experience by 1.2. Sword prowess, axe prowess, authority. Nice. They're still all planning on attacking her, which is interesting. Actually, what's your... Always good to do that. Might as well talk it's to because him of you with guys all that I'm not guys. dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. God. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, and if I hit A during a fight, it fast forwards it. Oh, at any point faster than this. Okay, that's nice. That's real nice. This is a fine opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. Okay. Combat arts are powerful techniques that use more weapon durability than usual. They do not typically allow for follow up attacks. You can learn new combat arts when their weapon skill level goes up. No combats for reason or faith, those skills grant magic instead. Okay. So. I want to move her here. And you know what? I'll use. this combat art. against. Don't waste my time! Oh god, 57 Your crit. defeat was inevitable. Oh, that's a good tune. Down on the land. And good One level. step at a time. I expect no less. And I did that for the main purpose of doing something like this. No! Should I have held back? Okay. And then last but not least. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just tag him from way over here. <laughs> uh, Never underestimate an outsider. And seeing the guys run away in the background makes it even better. Okay, and I can use items. But that's not all that important for me right now. Because she's the only one that's taking damage. Mercenaries in the village. Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Okay, he's moving up. Oh, and I think that. So he has that symbol next to his name at the bottom, on his bottom right. I'm curious what that symbol actually means. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> and my icon indicates that you get the item that's highlighted in green, so you details by defeating them. 
so. So he will drop the iron axe. And I don't want him fighting against him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place him there, her here, and him there. For the purpose, because that guy has an axe. I don't want him uh, surat getting uh, to Dimitri. Even though what the weapon the circle or the weapon train goes there. The blade breaker? Ooh. What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Okay, don't kill him. Okay, good. Good. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Sounds good. Linked attacks. So when you attack an enemy, there's also the attack range of one or more of your other units, you will trigger a linked attack. During a linked attack, your opponents and hit rate are higher to a certain use also raise might. When you use linked attacks, keep defeating powerful units. Linked attacks will also build support. Okay. Step forward. Okay, so deck, speed, defense, could okay, use strength, but you know what, that's fine. Got an iron axe. Interesting. <laughs> what? what Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Go to bed. It's time to sleep. <laughs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> Well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as... The Beginning. <laughs> I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. Hmm... Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called... The Beginning. But... Who once called me that? Sophus. I was not able to recall my name until just now. Just now, right now. And just mm. like that, it came to me. How odd. Mm, indeed. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Maybe. Fooey! That child just saved your life. And Fooey. what does that make you? I'm less than a child? child? Correct. Okay, you if there's symbol with an arrow going up in a heart. Okay. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Hey, man. I might marry her in the future. I don't know. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. That is true. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm glad. I'm very glad that I'm not dead. Um, all right. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? Uh, what will happen when time resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Well, damn. <laughs> Money? How rude of you to drag me into this. Now, what to do? Keep that frozen. 
turn back the hands of time. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. <laughs> I must take the clock and <laughs> just turn it that way. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. Indeed, I'm quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Indeed. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. That line sounded really fake, but you know what? I'm fine with it. Oh my if it's always Edelgard, or if it's the one you bonded the most to in that scene. Hey, did you just... <laughs> Turn back time? The Knights of Seros are here! We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students! A bit late. Hey, the thieves are running away! Go after them! The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? <laughs> oh, God. Darn, I wish I could have killed those last two guys, but oh well. Byleth, MVP. So, already tell? I like it. <laughs> I like fighting. Captain this game. Jilled? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Alois. Well, that's how I always thought of myself, anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Dude, his shoulder pad. He, he belongs in WoW. That's a big shoulder pad. Right. Goodbye, Captain. <laughs> captain, my captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? I'm abandoned. That is correct. Is that so? <laughs> well, indeed, I'm physical child. differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? Yes, I see no reason to decline. <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? No. Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. <laughs> I get fucked Knights up. Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Oh, okay, so she just talks to me in my brain. Oh, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Okay, Morgana. You got it. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. <laughs> Have I missed anything? That's really high praise. I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Yeah, you idiot. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. 
Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Mm. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? I like this. It already has a good dynamic in their conversations. In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. Mm. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. No, come join my nation. Or I might mine. as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. <laughs> no, let me get his D. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? See, I don't even know what you represent, Claude. Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? The Justine Empire, land of ancient history. Holy Kingdom of Fargus, land of noble knights. <laughs> Leicester Alliance, burgeoning league of nobles. Well gotta go with the Adrustine Empire. So, I didn't say this before, but I'm pretty sure this game is almost what people wanted in Fire Moon Cross SMT, where SMT, for those of you who don't know, Shin, Shin Megami Tensei, and they're the ones who make like the Persona games or the SMT games, um, among some others. And there was the crossover that didn't perform very well on the Wii U. But this game, has Fire Emblem Combat with like Persona-esque side stuff. And uh, I believe it, what this, like these choices represent is almost like the SMT like, ending paths where it's like, okay, you have, and I read this online. Like I'm, I'm not gonna say this is my own idea, but it's like you have uh, order, chaos, and then neutral with neutral being like the true end. So I plan to do this one, then this one, then this one. Uh, but I'm not going to be playing them all on stream. I'll probably only play, like, this one on stream. Um, hopefully with, like, New Game Plus Plus. So. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've fallen from former glory. We're still the biggest nation on the continent. <laughs> all right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. I do like how they make you choose so early on. Because now it's like, okay, now that you're cho chosen and you didn't have to, like, kind of, like, reach around and accidentally help other people or, like, make it so, like, ugh, I, wa I want to pick these people, but all my good guys are in this one, so I'd have to fight them. No, it's like you pick immediately and you will grow to love the characters that you were kind of like funneled into. And I'm like, you know what? I like that. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Edelgard. She is a refined young woman, but I feel as though she's always evaluating me. Dimitri. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. Claude. His easy, his, his easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so 
sleepy was he dead? Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... <laughs> you just sleep all the time, you dumb bitch. White clouds. Part one. Yeah. White clouds. Great tree, Great tree moon. moon. Three houses. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. <laughs> the icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fogland. I think these are the pictures. the start of a new year. On the um. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people the pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Interesting. The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. Hmm. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. I think the Adjust the Empire is as big as the other two combined. <laughs> That's crazy. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodland in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Hmm. Best girl. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. The big effing castle. Excuse me while the choir just comes in. land on your computer screen. Ooh, studying magic. Ooh, studying Burberries. Oh, that kid knows what's up. <laughs> Boy, keep it in your pants. <laughs> like how they were doing combat exercises with none of their fellow students. It was just the three. Is here. Ooh. So he, he knows. Well, I think he was a knight of Sarah's. Oh, Rhea's here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> God. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? Oh, so you might know Sothis. Interessante, as they would say in. I don't know. A lot of places speak Spanish. Audience it's been Great years since data. I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... <laughs> you saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Okay, so that's who you were. Right, hello. <laughs> so. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. 
That is your child, is it not? That might be Makoto from Persona 5. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Oh, always see. illness. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is... A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? Yeah. You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Oh, just, I must work here with children as a mercenary, as a servant. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. Oh. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers' Academy, right? Yeah. Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. Yeah, I happen to kill And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. God damn it. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. <laughs> okay. See and ya. Watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Okay. Bye. Oh, it's you then? So young. Mm -hmm. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers' Academy. Hello. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Okay. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Unfortunately, my heart is taken by another, my lady. You're a songstress. You're a physician. Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefranc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then. It seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Oh, okay. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Sensible. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Mm-hmm. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. So that's an interesting thing that I was thinking of, because they say she's going to be the next Emperor. So in this world, Emperor is an asexual title, because where we are right now, Emperor is generally male, while an Empress is female. So I find that interesting. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson Claude. to Duke Regan, 
the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. <laughs> it certainly is a promising year for the Academy. Indeed. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. They will in five years. For now, <laughs> I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Oop, yep, I'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedeth. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy oh, no. is this is Geralt's character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flame is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. Ooh, ooh. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes. Mm. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Okay. <laughs> Never know where it's gonna go. Ooh. I can press B to make him jump. <laughs> da 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 da. God, it's taking a long time to load because it's like ooh cutscenes and other things. Oh, it's that cutscene we saw at the. I think it's like Eth. Yeah, the bell doing the Fire Emblem tune. Dun 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 dun. dun. Hello there. Like, why is she under there hiding her head under a book when it's just their fellow students? <laughs> I will destroy you. Ah, I'm a pretty boy. Totally not crazy, evil bitch. Of course. Okay. Right stick, camera move, zoom in, zoom out, B, my whole dash. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so you see the calendar, a mini map, and you see your task. There we go, I can hit R for map. Tells me who I can talk to, which is like everyone. Oh, and I can even like locate. That's neat. Okay. 
Neat, neat, neat. Okay. Oh, and he even comes up there. So save and save. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I am now going to switch over to here, because I'm going to be ending the stream soon. But as just a quick recap uh, after playing the game, figured I would go over what went on in the uh, special edition again. So we have a big box with this in the front and back. We have the calendar, which is really nice and cool. I won't be using it, but it's just there to look at. Even though I know that's not exactly what you're supposed to do with calendars. But yeah. Have the CD with the really cool design on it. Neat. Got the steelbook case. With this on the front. With this on the back. least we have the art book. Let's open it up to random page. Oh look at him. I haven't seen him but he totally looks evil. I would love it if he wasn't evil but fat chance right? And then finally we have the house pins. But this is from GameStop. It's not from the special edition. So, here, come on, and there we go. With that, I would like to thank you all for coming to watch. I know it's a short stream, but it was never meant to be a long one, because uh, I go to bed soon, and I uh, told you already I'm planning on playing this on my own. So, that's what it comes down to. So I might go back to streaming Valkyria Chronicles 4. Well, no, I will go back to streaming Valkyria Chronicles 4. It's just a matter of when. I'm not exactly sure when that's going to happen, but it will eventually. So with that, I would like to thank you all for coming in to watch. I'm actually going to turn down the desktop audio once again. That way, when I play Valkyria Chronicles, it's not crazy. Um, but thank you all very much, and I hope you join me next time. Bye.